be not afraid of greatness. Some are born great, some achieve greatness, and others have greatness thrust upon them. Sweet are the uses of adversity which, like the toad, ugly and venomous, wears yet a precious jewel in his head. Our doubts are traitors and make us lose the good we oft might win by fearing to attempt. How poor are they that have not patience! What wound did ever heal but by degrees? How far that little candle throws its beams! So shines a good deed in a naughty world. The rod that smiles, steals something from the thief. The devil can cite scripture for his purpose. One touch of nature makes the whole world kin. Small cheer and great welcome makes a merry feast. Tis not enough to help the feeble up, but to support them after. Heat not a furnace for your foe so hot that it do singe yourself. Talking isn't doing. It is a kind of good deed to say well, and yet words are not deeds. And oftentimes excusing of a fault doth make the fault the worse by the excuse. Reputation is an idle and most false imposition, oft got without merit, and lost without deserving. To be, or not to be, that is the question. All the world's a stage, and all the men and women merely players. They have their exits and their entrances, and one man in his time plays many parts. And this, our life, exempt from public haunt, finds tongues in trees, books in the running brooks, sermons in stones, and good in everything. Life's but a walking shadow, a poor player, that struts and frets his hour upon the stage, and then is heard no more. It is a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. My tongue will tell the anger of my heart, or else my heart concealing it will break. Give sorrow words, the grief that does not speak knits up a wrought heart and bids it break. <laughs>